Hello guys, this is Bhagesh Kodbis and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn the ABC of Circos before we begin with the hello world of Circos. As you can see, I have the same files and folders open which I had untarred or unzipped in the previous video. If you have not checked out the previous video, please go check it out. I have explained the installation procedure for Circos. Uh, please go check that out before you begin watching this video. So let's just get started. Go to the folders circles and to the folder bin and i'll be using visual studio code to create and edit files you can use basically any notepad app or text editor app so i'll open this folder with visual studio code let me just add this to a split screen so before we begin let's have a look at what we will be building at the end of this video so we'll be constructing a circular plot like this by the end of this video let's head back to the editor i'll create a folder in here you can right click and create a folder or you can use the visual studio code to do the same click on create folder type in data this folder will hold the karyotype files or karyotype data i'll be creating a new file here and name it data.txt it will be a text file so our data would usually have six to seven columns the first column will contain chr tab hyphen it's not a space it's a tab and after that we'll add in var1 this is the identifier the identifier can be anything but it should be unique for each entry after this is the chromosome name let's name it name one followed by the start and end coordinates this much is enough but just in case you want to specify the color you can mention it after a tab and add in the color to know which colors to use if you remember we had created a image called gddiag in the previous video you can open that file and navigate to the colors whichever you want and the way you use this color is let me just open this up as a split screen so for example i need p blue this color but a darker version of it that is d so i'll use d as prefix for p blue for example you can specify d and p blue so the values here will be the prefix of the color if you want to specify that shade of the color else you can directly use the value from here for example for the next one if i want orange i can just type in orange and that will be it make sure that all these are tabs and not spaces so you can practically copy the first line and let's paste it thrice and let's name each of the variable as two and three and we'll do the same for the name as well and let's change the coordinates let's make this 10 in size and the next one 7 and let's also change the color i'll make it dp orange and the next one dp red and let's save this file so if you see in the data folder we have a file named data which has the chromosome or karyotype details next what we need to do is change a specific setting if you go back to the circos folder we'll have to go to etc and from here open up housekeeping.conf it's a configuration file you can right click and open with any notepad and from here we just have to change the paranoid from yes to no if you have this as yes change it to no and save this file before exiting it now let's go back to the bin folder the next thing you need to do is write a configuration file you can just right click and create a new file but i'll be using vs code for this in the bin folder i'll click on new file and i'll name it circos.conf the extension should be conf not txt because it's a configuration file and i'll click on enter to save this if you see it should appear right here and you can uh, again edit it using any notepad app not necessary to your visual studio code and here we will have to first specify the karyotype data which is in the folder data forward slash data dot txt file as you can see data data dot txt file this is our data in the next line we will have to create two tags the first will be an ideogram and close this tag this is practically like xml or html if you're familiar with this this is the same the next line will have the image tag which will consist the details of the image which we will generate at the end of this video so within the ideogram tag we will first specify the spacing so we will create a tag for that as well 
and close this tag so this spacing is basically the space between these two outlines let's set this to the default and give it a value of 0.00 five radians below the spacing tags but still within the ideogram we will add in a parameter named radius and we will set this to 0 0.90 radians so basically you can experiment with these values these are there is no hard and fast tool that they should have only the specific parameter but make sure to specify the unit as radians that is r the next parameter is thickness and this will be the thickness of this outline so we'll set the thickness to be around 20 pixels after this we will specify the type of color or the type of decoration will set fill to yes what this will do is it will fill each of these lines with a specific color instead of setting it black or blank in the next line we will specify stroke color and set this to dark gray and stroke thickness to 2 pixels make sure this is 2 pixels in the next line let's specify the type of label the properties of the label we will set the label that is the labels here that is name 1 name 2 and name 3 we'll set properties for that first let's show the labels by typing in show underscore labels and set this to yes and in the next line we will specify the label underscore font and set this to default again we can set the label radius as in this might come in handy when your labels are lengthy and you want them to be within the circle just in case you set the label radius smaller than the radius of the circle they will appear inside this circular plot and if you set them or set the value greater than this circle it will be outside the plot as it is in this plot so we will set the label radius as 1 radians plus 75 pixels in length after this we can specify the label to be parallel and we'll set this to yes what this will do is it will set the labels parallel to the outline else the label would be perpendicular that is uh, perpendicular to this circle sticking out in that direction just in case you have a very lengthy label you can specify the label parallel property to no after this uh, we can head to the image tag within this tag we will specify a parameter file or the configuration file by typing in a double brackets and within this we will type in include space the configuration file which is there in etc all the configuration files are placed within etc forward slash image dot conf this is the configuration file which we will be using to generate the image and after the image tag we will have to specify two more configuration files so we will create two more double brackets let me just copy this and paste it here and within this we will type in include and etc forward slash the first configuration file which we will be including is to generate the colors for this plot by mentioning the file which is colors underscore fonts underscore pattern dot conf patterns dot conf and in the next double tag we will specify include space etc forward slash house keeping dot conf this is the file which we chained in the beginning of this video so we will have to include these three configuration files along with the data file these are actual files present in the folder etc you can go have a look at the parameters which are available in these files so this was the configuration file to generate the plot and these are the tags and parameters required for you to generate a simple plot like this next let's save this file so as you can see i have the folder data with the data file and the configuration as circos.conf now i need to open this in a terminal let me just copy this path i'll cd into this folder let's just confirm the installation whether it's working or not by typing in circos hyphen capital v this will give us the version of circos so as you can see we have circos installed and it's working next we will type in circos and pass in a parameter conf this will take in the configuration file which we created which is circos.cnf after this just hit enter at the end of this process 
you will be prompted that there will be two images which have been created. One is in PNG and one is a SVG image, both in the same bin folder. Let me just open the image. So this is the thing which you will get. The labels are missing because we missed one of the parameters. Let me just go back to the CONF and open with notepad. We added S here. It should be show label and not labels. We also missed one of the parameter that is label underscore size set it as 30 and let's save this file again let me just clear this and let's run the circos command with the configuration parameter and the updated circos.cnf and once i hit enter the images in this folder will be overwritten so just in case if you generate multiple images make sure to rename them or copy them to another location so that they don't get overwritten now if i view this image you'll be able to see that the label is visible and that was it for this video hope you like this video this is bhagesh kodri signing out thanks for watching